Former Twitch streamer Destiny recently took to the airwaves to share his thoughts on the popular fantasy series Game of Thrones. Focusing on the show's set design and the execution of key storylines. In a recent stream, Destiny praised the authenticity of the sets, comparing them favorably to other fantasy series like The Witcher. Honest to God, I think Game of Thrones... This is going to sound so shallow. This is going to sound really shallow. But I think when it comes to like medieval stuff in that, um, in that time period, whatever the fuck you would call it, I think Game of Thrones did it so fucking well that it makes it really hard to look at anything else. Um, the set design, the costumes, the acting, even when it got shit at the end, all of that shit was fucking top notch. And it makes it seem like when I watch anything, when I watch The Witcher, the sets felt like plastic. And they weren't. I don't, I'm not like talking shit on it. I'm sure it was fine. But man, even compared to Lord of the Rings, like Game of Thrones was better. It, the, just, the sets and the costumes and everything, like you, it was super immersive. It just felt really, really, really cool. Just seeing what was on screen. And it makes it really, really hard to watch anything else. Like The Witcher just felt like a Netflix adaptation. Um, but yeah, holy shit. But I, I but I, I'm not trying to say that the, that's not to say The Witcher was bad or anything. Um, AI generated Seinfeld, George is getting upset. Oh yeah, what's up? The, um, apparently people AI generate Seinfeld episodes and just runs forever, but. <clears throat> House of the Dragon sets or Game of Thrones? Yeah, I haven't seen House of the Dragon yet, although I've heard, I've heard good things. I've heard really good things, actually. Reddit comments told me that it's because an HBO has, or HBO has an archive of medieval costumes and props going back decades. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. God, do you remember when we found out Valerian Steel could kill White Walkers and it meant nothing? It was just the most pointless reveal. Oh no, oh, I'm, I'm looping. Oh God, I'm looping on everything again. Oh no, I shouldn't have talked about it. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have brought up Game of Thrones. I shouldn't have brought it up. The Long Night was one episode. The Long Night was one episode. Do you remember when John could have walked to the dragon and flown away, but he decided he needed to turn around and just like kill five other zombies and then got left behind? And then Benjamin was like, there's no time to explain. You're on a horse. You're just galloping. There's nothing going on. Just explain it. Remember John being a Targaryen and it meant nothing? It was the biggest reveal. It was one of the largest reveals in like probably pop culture history and it meant nothing? It was pointless. Like if if John was not a Targaryen, literally nothing changes. Do you understand that? Let me make you understand this. Let's say it was the case that um, fucking Lana Del Rey or whatever the fuck uh, Ned Stark's sister was. Let's say you found out, oh my god, that boy that she gave birth to was a different boy. That wasn't Jon Snow at all. And then you found out Jon Snow was just a bastard. Do you know how much that would change the rest of the show? It wouldn't at all. It wouldn't change it at all. There'd be literally zero impact. There'd be literally no impact whatsoever. Oh my god. Wait, hello? Oh, it's doing the thing again. Okay, but I know how to fix it. I just gotta refresh DGG chat. All right. Barristan sell me dying to the fucking mask losers. Oh God. The short guy in the eunuch betrayed the white haired chick over Jon Snow being a Targaryen. Um, nah, you could have written that the same. Like, the eunuch's problem wasn't that John. Actually, I don't even know if he mentioned John being a Targaryen. The reason why um, Varys betrayed, uh, betrayed her was because she was fucking insane. That was the problem. The problem didn't have to do with who the rightful ruler was. The problem was just that um, she was crazy. I think that was his worry, to protect the realm, remember? Remember the huge reveal? That you could interact with the past. That huge reveal when um when Bran shouted at Ned and Ned turned around and heard him, and then that ended up 
I don't think that had any impact for the rest of the whole show, did it? Other than... How, how did working into Hodor fuck him up in the past? That was like the only thing... I don't even... Dude, oh god, fuck me, kill me. Oh god, kill me. I don't even know, dude. How stupid. Remember when only the North wanted to be independent in the final episode, even though there were like three kingdoms that fought a war for their independence? Oh yeah, <laughs> everybody's like, oh yes, I'll bow the knee. Oh yes, I'll bow the knee. And then the North was like, we're actually going to be independent. And the other guys were like, fuck. 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 I didn't know that was an option. Game of Thrones really nails the set design, Destiny said. You can really feel like you're in West Arrows when you're watching the show. The attention to detail is amazing, and it really helps to sell the world of the series. Despite their admiration for the set design, Destiny was not without criticism for the series. They pointed to the sloppy execution of certain key storylines, particularly in the later seasons, as a major flaw in the show. While the sets are fantastic, the writing just falls apart in the later seasons, Destiny said. It's like the writers were in a hurry to wrap things up, and it really shows in the rushed and unsatisfying endings for some characters. Destiny's critique of the series' storytelling is not unique. Many fans of the show have expressed disappointment with the rushed pacing and inconsistent character development in the later seasons. This has led to a split among fans with some feeling that the series ended on a high note, while others feel that the show's potential was squandered in its final stretch. Another issue with the series has been its treatment of violence, particularly towards women. The show has been criticized for its depiction of violence, with some scenes being described as gratuitous and unnecessary. This, combined with the show's frequent use of less than desired amount of clothing, has led some to question whether the series objectifies women and perpetuates harmful stereotypes. In addition to these issues, the series has also been criticized for its representation of people of color. Despite the show's diverse cast, many characters of color have been relegated to supporting roles or used as props to further the storylines of white characters. This has led to accusations of tokenism and a lack of inclusiveness in the series. Despite these criticisms, Destiny believes that Game of Thrones remains a must-see series for fans of fantasy and medieval-style storytelling. Despite its flaws, Game of Thrones is still a fantastic series, Destiny said. The set design is top-notch, and the world-building is second to none. It's a real shame that the storytelling didn't hold up in the end, but the show is still worth watching for fans of the genre. In conclusion, Destiny's take on Game of Thrones highlights the strengths and weaknesses of the series. While the set design is praised for its authenticity, the storytelling is criticized for its rushed and unsatisfying endings. Whether you love or hate the show, there is no denying the impact that Game of Thrones has had on the world of fantasy storytelling and popular culture.